Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create delete task API in Spring Boot and Angular. So let's get started. You can see the Spring Boot application. Let's go to admin service and here I'm going to create a method that is a delete task. In the argument, it will receive an ID that is a type of a long and the return type of this method that is a void. Let's go to admin service impl. Let me implement the method that is a delete task inside this i'm going to call a method from the task repository that is a delete by id inside the argument we need to pass here the id that we are getting in the argument of the method let's go to admin controller and here i'm going to create a method to call the method from the admin service so it will be a public and the return type of this method that is a void name of the method that is a delete task let me add here the notation that is add the rate path variable to get the ID from the URL or it will be a long ID. Inside this, I'm going to call a method from the admin service that is a delete task. And here I'm going to pass the ID and let me return here the response that is okay. And inside the body, I'm going to give here the null. Let me wrap this void with the response entity and it will be a void. On the top, I'm going to add the notation that is at the rate delete mapping to access this endpoint. So the path of this endpoint that is a slash task slash ID. We have to get here the actual ID of the task. Let's run the Spring Boot application. As you can see, application started. Let's go to MySQL Workbench. You can see the list of tasks that's saved in our DB. I want to delete the task with the ID too. So let's go to Postman and let's test the API. You can see here the path of our endpoint that is a slash API slash admin slash task. After the slash, I'm going to add here the ID. Let me select here the mapping that is a delete. Let's go to the browser. Let me get the token of the admin from the local storage. Let's go to authorization tab. Let me select here the barrier token from the dropdown. Let me give here the token of the admin. Let's click on this send button. As you can see, the status we got 200 OK and we are getting the null in the body. Let's go to the Angular application and I'm going to call delete API in Angular. So let's go to admin service. Let me duplicate this method. So the name of the method that is a delete task. In the argument, it will receive an ID that is a type of a number. Let me update the mapping that is a delete. So the URL is slash API slash admin slash task slash ID. Let me give you the ID that we are getting in the argument. Let's go to dashboard component dot HTML. Let me uncomment this div. For now, I'm going to use the delete icon. So let me comment these two icons. As you can see here, the delete icon where we are calling a method that is a delete task on the click event. In the argument, we are passing here the task ID. Let me copy the method name. Let's go to dashboard component.ts. Let me create this method. And we have to receive here the ID that is a type of a number. Inside this method, I'm going to call here the admin service and the method that is a delete task. Let me pass here the ID. Let's subscribe this, save the response into this variable that is a res. In the constructor, I'm going to inject mat snack bar from the Angular material. So it will be a private snack bar from the mat snack bar. Let me call here the instance that is a this dot snack bar dot open inside the codes. I'm going to write here the notification message that is a task deleted successfully. Second, we have a button that is a close. After this, I'm going to add here the duration of the notification that is a five seconds. After deleting the task, we have to call the get all task endpoint to get the updated record from the DB. So let me call here the method that is a this dot get tasks. Let's go to UI. You can see here the delete icon. Let me post the new task. Let me add here the title that is a update the database. After this, we have a description that is a change the database config. After this, we have a due date input. So let me select here the due date. Priority I'm going to select here that is a medium and the employee I'm going to select here Zach. Let's click on this post task button. As you can see, task posted successfully. Let me delete this task. As you can see, the notification that we got that is a task deleted successfully and we are getting the updated record. That's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.